Sometimes I feel forgotten Seems like you're hiding your face from me I will admit that I wrestle with my thoughts Struggle with all of the sorrow deep How long will you leave me here without answers Crushed by the words of my enemies But I will trust your unfailing love Welcome beloved Day 13 Psalm 13 How long? How long? How long? How long, Lord? Will you forgive? Will you forget me? Forever. How long will you hide your face from me? How must how long must I wrestle with my thoughts? Day after day have sorrow in my in my heart. How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep in death, and my enemy will say, I have overcome him. And my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise. For he has been good to me. The Swahili version. E buwana. Hata lini utanisahau hata milele. Hata lini utanificha uso wako. Hata lini nifanya mashauri nafsini mwangu, nikiuzunika moyoni mchana kutwa. Hata lini ya dui yangu atukuke juu yangu. E bwana, mungu wangu, uangalie, uniitikie. Uyatie nuru macho yangu, nisije nikalala usingizi wa mauti. Adui yangu asija akasema nimemshinda. Watasi wangu wa sifurahi ninapoondoshwa nami nimezitumainia fadhili zako moyo wangu na tufurahie wokovu wako naam niimbiwe bwana nimuimbie bwana kwa kuwa amenitendea kwa ukarimu how long how long how long, Lord? How long? How long, said the psalmist? How long? How long will you forget me forever? There are moments when you come to the presence of the Lord and you feel like as if he's not there. But it's in such moments that the Lord is actually carrying you. He's actually lifting you. He's actually with you. 
And I want to thank God because of his favor and his majesty. His face is not hidden from us. Here in the land that bears the name Kenya, on this day, there was an announcement that there is now COVID-19 in our midst. Death is lacking in the shadows. Coronavirus is lacking in the shadows. In the comfort of Africa, it is lacking. With the psalmist, we ask, How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long, Lord, will you hide your face from me? How long, Lord? The psalmist was crying out to the Lord and asking, How long, Lord, will you hide your face forever? It's a call. You know, like this something is um, the pestilence that is in the nations right now requires corporate anointing prayer. It requires Africa, America, and uh, it requires Asia. It requires Austria. It requires the whole continent of America, North America, South America. It requires a global return to the Lord. Global. Not just individual. But the believers must cry to the Lord. Like the psalmist cried to the Lord in verse 1 of Psalm 13 and said, How long, O God, how long will you forget me forever? I know that the God that we serve is faithful. Verse 2 asks, How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? The thoughts is the place where we need to do the greatest battle. The thoughts is the place where the victory happens. In fact, it is the place where we are commissioned as believers to win the war. The scripture says it very well and it declares it that having done everything else in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, it says, stand therefore with the what? With the belt of truth. Let's just read that quickly as we continue in the book of Ephesians by the grace of God as we continue in his grace and we are on day 13 of this particular time calling on the name of the Lord reading from Psalm and be able to move on hallelujah the armor of God the armor of God Ephesians chapter 6 Ephesians chapter 6 verse number um Verse number 10, it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take the stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that... When the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the, or the, or the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray, and pray. This is a very, very powerful component of the armor of God. Because most of the time we talk about everything else up till the sword, but we do not go to verse 18. Listen to verse 18. And pray in the spirit in all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the God's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words will be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an invested in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Praise the name of the Lord. What a joy to be able to know that prayer is a very, very key component of the armor of God. That when we come to the presence of the Lord with the belt of truth buckled around our waist, with the breastplate of righteousness on our chest, with the helmet of salvation covering our mind and our head, with also the sword of the Spirit, the shield of faith, with our feet shod on the gospel of peace, then, and only then, a very, very hidden 
component of the spiritual armor of a Christian. And this is prayer. Pray with all prayers. In, with all prayers. Pray. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe that even as God has allowed the, the pestilence that is in the nations to come, Nothing happens by accident before the Lord. Nothing happens by surprise before the Lord. You cannot go and tell the Lord, surprise! It's not possible. You can only do that in your baby shower event. You cannot be able to do surprise on the Lord. There is nothing you can hide from Him. He is the creator of the ends of the earth. He is the firstborn from the dead. That's our Lord Jesus Christ. Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Yes. Or I will sleep in death and my enemy will say, I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. This will not be our portion. Lord, you are hearing us as we call. Even as we pray, as we gather, may the Lord mobilize a team. May the Lord mobilize an army in the nations of the world that we can together call on the Lord, a sovereign assembly, that we can beseech the Lord and say, Lord, let not my enemy say, I will overcome him. And my foes rejoice when I fall. Praise the Lord. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. That's where you need to write and underline and copy it. Even take a dollar bill and write it on top of it. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I trust in your unfailing heart rejoices in your salvation. As we are trusting in the Lord, we need to believe and we need to trust and know that God's salvation is going to be our portion. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. We know, we know, according to your word in Psalm 91, 16, it says, because he loves me, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. This is the prayer that we are making for the nations on a day like this. And we pray that the Lord's unfailing love, we trust in the Lord's unfailing love over this coronavirus that is in the nations of the earth. We are asking the Lord, remember, it is not the dead that praise you, Lord. It is us, the living. Give us favor. Give us ability when you are calling on your name that God, you will remember. You will remember. Father, you will keep away the pestilence from us. You will keep away the, the, the fear from us, Lord. You come and visit our nations in the earth, mighty Lord. Hallelujah. I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. Let your heart be strengthened, child of God. Let your heart be strengthened. Do not be afraid. Fear is of the enemy. Do not be afraid. Fear is from the enemy. The Lord and his unfailing love is where we put our trust. Let us pray. Mighty everlasting Father, we lift up this psalm of David before you. And Lord, as we are calling on your name, asking how long, how long, how long will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long my enemy triumph over me? Father, we call on your name this morning, this night, this afternoon and say, look on me. Look on me, Lord. Answer, oh my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death and my enemy will say I've overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. Lord, I trust in your salvation. My heart rejoices in your salvation. Father God, as we call on your name, we sing the Lord's praise. For you have been good to us. Father, we bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Psalm 13 on day 13. I pray let the Lord go ahead of us. And let's continue seeing his favor. See you 
in the next video. I believe that even before I go, that the this presence of God, there's the presence of God. As you are calling on the Lord, the presence of God is coming into your situation. That place is where he's asked, how long, Lord? Hey, I know we've been to that place. I know we've gone to that place where you feel like crying out. You feel like lifting out a shout and say, Lord, how long? Lord, how long? And let me tell you, prayer, when you are calling out on the name of the Lord, is allowed to have a cry. To have an internal cry. To call on the Lord. To seek the scriptures. To get in that word of God. And to read and to search and to internalize the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What a joy it is to be in the presence of the Lord. The Lord has looked upon us and answered. We trust the Lord. We trust in unfailing love. We ask that the masses of God is our portion. In this time that we are seeing so many things happening in the nations of the earth. Also in our families, we pray and invite the presence of God. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father, for giving us this day. We glorify your name. Continue to minister to us even as we rest to sleep and as we wake up and as we go in about on our business, Father God. Let your favor surround us as a shield. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Shalom, peace. I'll see you in the next video. And God bless you so much. Tomorrow, we shall be able to be in Psalm 14 by the grace of God. We shall not sleep in death. We shall not sleep in death. We will not be overcome in the name of Jesus. We trust in the unfailing love of the Lord. We rejoice and sing the Lord's praise. For he has been good and good to us. God bless you so much. My sister Arual Longar out of South Sudan. I have Sisi Mugo and Zach Juguna. And the rest of the nations that have been watching these videos. God bless you. Remember, the Lord loves you with an everlasting love. I am Malcolm David Taylor. The success story. God bless you. Shalom.